is the most important part. If you if you don't listen to anything in the video, I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this bit right at the start of the video. The first talent choice that you're gonna get offered, do some research. A link in the description below will show you a talent resource sheet that I have for every unit in the game. Also, guys, thank you to my channel members on the screen right now. If you want to join and support the channel, you'll get your name on the video. I tried to put it up on the start of the video because it's nice to show off people at the start of the video. So thank you to the guys who are currently channel members, which you can see right here uh, on the screen. You have just got access to Warcraft Rumble, okay? So you've probably just done... I'm going to have a quick look at what I've got here. Oh, I've actually got some really interesting things to buy. <laughs> okay, right. So we'll, we'll get onto that in a minute, right? You've just got access to Warcraft Rumble. Mo a lot of you are getting the option of three heroes. You're going to get Rend, you're going to get Jaina, and you're going to get Blood Mage Thanos. The best choice is Rend, okay? Just because at the moment, in the current meta, Rend is going to be oft mo most useful. He's definitely the best Blackrock leader, and Jaina is probably the worst Alliance leader, and Blood Mage Thanos is not as good as Baron. So if you get offered Baron Rivendare, Hogger, Tyrion, or Rend, definitely take one of those three. So Rend is going to be your best first choice. You're then going to get offered one of three units in the shop. My personal favorite is going to be Ghoul. You will, I think most of you will get offered Footman, Ghoul, or Wolf, the little Prowler. The Prowler is good and Ghoul is good. Footman is the worst choice you could have at this stage. So don't choose Footman. Uh, so go for Ghoul. You'll get through the tutorial levels, and then most of you will find yourself at this place here, which is going to be Voltros, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to start to work our way through Voltros together, and I'm going to show you also some other units in the shop that you might want to purchase. So, follow me as we go along. I will purchase the units that I think are good, and you'll get some good examples about how to start the game off. Your first player experience, get as far as you can on that first push. So, we're going to do it together now. Um, I'm playing on an emulator, which is why... The colors look a bit washed out compared to normal, but hopefully that's fine. The, reasons, the reason I'm on an emulator is because my main account is on my phone and I'm not going to change that. So, Voltros has these little chicken areas. He'll spawn these vultures and these vultures will very easily kill the chickens and spawn a load more vultures. First thing we want to do is probably drop down this guy here. Wait for these guys to get to the range. This is where, this is where chain lightning comes in, really useful. And we're going to chain lightning those all together. So we're not going to be able to contest that other chest up here. We just want to try and focus down this. I'm going to drop a rend as well. Rend's going to be good here because obviously the um, the spiderlings. We've just about now easily taken down this. All right, so another little nice example here. Try and catch all of these guys in the safe pilot. And this is why I also like. Oh gosh, I forgot. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have that. Um, I don't have the talent for safe pilot because I'm playing on a new account. Okay, safe pilot is usually completely fine to just throw at people like that, but um, I don't have the gnomish cloaking device talent. So there you go. So I'm going to try and drop this guy down here. I've got a level four, which I'm going to divert. I don't want that to die immediately to the tower. I'd like it to take out the vultures. Probably going to have to safe pilot this, if I'm honest with you, because there's now way too many vultures there. Okay. Want to get this chest again. <laughs> Usually, the best course of action for most games is going to be try and take as many of the towers as you possibly can. You don't necessarily need the other tower in this instance. But we do need another tank. And we can drop Ren. So we can probably get enough damage on this guy now. Drop another one of these guys. And drop another one of these guys. They can go for the other tower while we're waiting here. Rend is really good for this these levels because he has that big AoE flame attack, which is just obviously very, very powerful should i think really i'm gonna chain lightning this that should be fine yeah i got everything there that's nice <laughs> not gonna be enough to finish the level one of the other things that you can do here is drop a safe pilot right behind a tower should be enough to kill off all those chickens as well now we don't have another um annoyingly don't have another uh just chain lightning here so we're gonna have to get another chain lightning out at some point I think I can cycle it here, so I'm going to cycle it. I don't want my uh, I don't want my poor uh, troll spearman to die. And we'll spawn another rend just to take out these AOE units here. Safe pilot, really good against the chickens as well. We can drop a level four should be very easily able to support this push. 
And as soon as the aggro gets pulled, I will drop a safe pilot behind the boss as well. All right, this should be enough to uh, to win the day. I'll just uh, quickly zap all of these guys. Nice. There we go. That's level done relatively easily. Dark Spear Troll level up. Okay, so we're going to... I'm making a lot of content tonight, guys. So I'm, I'm on my energy drinks, which I don't usually drink. I don't like coffee, so this is how I get my caffeine. Voltros gets me 30 gold. Nice. Okay. We're going to go here. Right. Gosh. Okay. So this is actually really tricky. Um, This unit is fantastic for PvE. This unit is pretty good. But this unit and this unit are primarily very, very good. So is this unit for PvE. But I think that I can afford... I don't really... I, I really like Blacklock Pyromancer, but... Oh, it's really good. But you don't really want to waste gold by moving units at this stage. So I think the best choice for me is to just buy the harpies now. Okay, and they immediately come in level three. That's great. Drake, core hounds are a bait. Quill bore is fantastic. So if you get harpies offered to you, definitely go for it. Let's have a look at our deck. Can we replace anything for harpies here? Do we want to maybe drop in... Because harpies are flying, so they will get reduced by our rend, which is why we want them. Um, got a level four, a level two. I reckon we could get rid of, get rid of this. Is this unit is actually not that good, so we could probably get rid of that unit quite nicely. Okay, cool. Old Merkai, let's get on it. So, you'll notice with the grid, things that are in. A, a both a vertical and horizontal line to the unit that you buy get refreshed and get 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 sort of deleted. So you need to make sure you're being very careful with your grid purchases early on. You don't really want to waste the gold in terms of um, drop the um, so I'll drop the ghoul in front of it. Obviously, I'm going to drop this here. I want to just blow up all of these murlocs in one go, which we're able to. Oh, we didn't quite get that last murloc, but that's probably okay. And now I'm going to drop. Okay, yeah. The good thing that we did drop the rend. I don't think it's going to be enough, but it will be enough to take them out afterwards. And we have basically finished that off. And actually now we have the um, harpies. So we really want an addition to replace one of the units. That's really nice there. We're going to start dropping our miner. Okay, so we've taken that tower. Harpies are just really excellent, by the way. We want to protect our... Um, we, want, we want to protect our murloc. Got them all. That's fine. That's really good. Rend is OP, by the way, at this stage of the game. Really strong. Drop another. I want to keep this unit in because it's my, um, it's one of my. Okay, got another unit going on. So we, yeah, with Harpies, you're starting to see that we're really sort of powering through these PVEs. Harpies are just the, one of the highest DPS units in the game. Very, very strong. If you get them offered, they'll help you get through a lot of PVE content. <laughs> Oh, didn't realize that the uh, that spawned below me, but we should be fine here. Right. There we go. Should be very easily able to get past old Merkai here. So we did that nicely. General rule of thumb, by the way, guys, is you'll, you will get experience for units that are in your deck. And in the early levels, if you can... Put units in your deck that are going to be good overall, like Safe Pilot, um, Harpies, etc. You'll do well. Marshall Redpaw. So yeah, uh, if you put um, things in your deck that, you, that are going to be good as the game progresses, and Harpies are always good in PvE, Safe Pilot is good in every stage of the game, etc., you're going to get more natural experience for them, which will help you as the game progresses. If you keep strong units in your deck, it means you'll be able to um, advance PvE a lot quicker than you would be able to otherwise. So this guy, from what I remember, spawns... Yeah, so this guy spawns um, Footman. We're going to drop the Harpies because they're cost-reduced. And Footman take reduced uh, physical damage, but they take the same amount of element... They take um, normal elemental damage, so... We take that tower very quickly. I forgot we don't have Gnomish Cloaking Device. Always forget we don't have Gnomish Cloaking Device. <laughs> Probably going to zap this guy. Yeah. Okay, so we've got another set of footmen dropping. Okay. 
Right. Right, Harpies are going to be really good here because none of these guys can attack air. So they, I mean, Harpies just clean up, guys. If you get Harpies offered to you, they are such a strong unit to have in your shop. Drop him to pick up this chest again. We really want to get, an, we really want to get another rend down, but I think we want a rend going on this side, primarily because now you you can wait until this footman dies, and then we're going to wait to see if we can spawn it here. So when the when the icon doesn't show you at the bottom, oh bloody hell! Ah yes, well that's not a good look. Okay, so we're going to spawn harpies again because there's again nothing to deal with the air right now. Rend is very good versus footman, which is what you're seeing right now. I'm going to try and do that and then just drop this. Nice. Okay. Got to get the gold going again. More footmen. I'm going to spawn another rend this time to try and protect my tower. I'm going to spawn harpies once more, but on this side because... Oh, I didn't realize there was a gold vein there. All right, we need to get um need to get our miner out. So again, spawn some harpies here. We were we were actually missing a giant a giant bit of gold. So look at the harpy shred this guy. Just need to get a tank up towards the boss. This is where, by the way, Earth Elemental or Quillbore. I actually really like Earth Elemental for PVE. Again, I'm gonna spawn harpies here. I'm gonna try and drop another ghoul. Want to try and pick up that chest on rotation if we can. Wow, look at the amount of footmen that have just appeared on this side. That's crazy. We're going to need a um, we're going to need a, a ren to deal with this. Yeah, we're going to need to drop a ren. Look at the amount of footmen here. That's absolutely mental amount of footmen. <laughs> So again, drop these guys, try and deal. Oh, well, they actually have a, um, need to get rid of him with the chain lightning. We're going to go into overtime on this map, but that's fine. Let's get a ghoul trying to head towards. We should be fine, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, we should be fine. We just, we just going to drop a, we should get him on this push. If we even just drop a safe pilot on him for good measure. This is this is probably one of the first difficult levels that you'll have to you'll have to face, but as long as you've got um the right units in deck, you just need some elemental damage and you're fine. It's also where Blackrock Pyromancer comes in very useful because that's an AoE elemental unit. So very good against footmen. Uh, but I just think harpies are better overall in PvE. Let's have a look here. Harpies, 100%. Ghoul over Batrider. Batrider is also good in that circumstance as well. And safe pilot, 100%. There we go. Right. So, we've got some more gold. Enter your name. Big Scoundrel 2. Great to meet you, Big Scoundrel 2. Now what's happened? Right. I've unlocked PvP. So PvP is really good to do, by the way. Is it going to make me do it? I could do some PvP with you, you guys in a bit, right? Let's have a look. I haven't got enough gold to get the um the next unit yet. Right, here we go. Faux Reaper. Can't remember what this guy does. But this level is very easy to make, to get right. So, right. First things first. Drop a ghoul here. Drop a rend behind him. And then drop some. Use the tower for defense on this side. You don't want to send your units to your to the death at that, that side of the tower. Don't need to actually use the uh, chain lightning there. Um... We want that 
the harvest golem to attack the ghoul and not to attack anything else so we've taken that tower quite nicely the harpies have obviously are very fast and they've gone to their death which is fine no need to send our our kobold miner down here just yet because there's not a lot of value out of these gold mines so we're going to wait i think enough to spawn another end so we're off to a good start here um want to spawn the, va the harpies whilst we've got the value Once we cycle Ghoul back around, we'll probably go to the other side. Okay, now is the time where we drop the Cobalt Miner, because there's a lot of value to be had down this way. I'm going to drop... I'm actually going to drop the Safe Pilot on the chest, because that will get the chest for me. There's the Ghoul. I will drop Rend behind the Ghoul. But I don't think we're going to need it. This is a very easy, very easy level to complete. Super easy. Super quick, easy as you like. So you guys can vote, by the way, uh, and I'd love to hear your opinions. Do you want me to purchase the Arc Light Booster on this account, or do you want me to go completely free to play and do not purchase the Arc Light Booster? Arc Light Booster is what I consider the minimum purchase. Okay, um, Drake's really good, but quite expensive, but really good with Ren. So we're running a Ren deck. This would make a lot of sense, and it also means I don't have to touch these two for the time being. Earth Elemental is fantastic as well, but, but Drake is very good with Ren, so we're going to buy Drake because it's great. It's a great unit to have with Ren, just because of the, um, the flying. So we would probably replace... Going to be honest, I think we'd probably replace the... Um, Dark Spear Troll, but that means we wouldn't have many ground units then, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so I replace Griffin Rider, but only because Griffin Rider doesn't get value from Rend. So having a Drake goes down to three with Rend. So Rend's ability is that he reduces flying units cost by one. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the Drake in for the time being. I think Drake's a better overall PVE unit. Oh, we've got something free to get. No, we don't have anything free to get. The Black Rock Pack. Mythic value, one pound. That's actually, I will say to you guys, don't buy this because you will get all of these units anyway. But they're telling you you get them at level five, but you're going to get everything to level five really quickly. So that's just a bit of a bait purchase, if I'm honest with you. The only thing that I would purchase is the Arclight Booster, which is why you guys can decide whether I buy the Arclight Booster or not. Okay, so we probably need to, I probably want to replace my ghoul eventually with something. Okay, the, the, the gimmick with this level is that um is that, that ship fires big shots and it blows everything up. But my ghoul has done alright there. So we secured So I'm gonna drop rend. Because it's allowed me to now get harpies, but I don't want to play the harpies just yet. They're super quick, so I don't need to play the harpies just yet. Gonna drop him here. Why not? Ren's now getting attacked, so I'll drop safe pilot behind. Okay, sometimes this happens. Okay, I'm gonna make use out of the rend while I still can and play my discounted um play, play my discounted Drake. We've taken that tower now, so that's an important tower to take. But we do want to try and control this meeting stone as well. Because that is about to come round the other side and get us again. So I'm gonna drop a rend. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop a rend here. I will drop this here to take out that ground piece. The drake's still going, which is nice. I won't drop my harpies just yet. What I do want to do is drop a safe pilot on this guy's head. I will drop a drake, though. Get the rend to go that way. I'll drop... I don't want my... um. Right, and now, now we're going to just go full assault mode while I start, whilst I start farming some gold. Harpies, if they don't get touched, just absolutely shred through bosses, by the way, which is why they're such a great unit. And there we go. Hard mission. <laughs> Obviously, nothing is super hard at this stage of the game, but there you go.
Right, so we've got Defias Bandits, Chickens, or Skeletons. Well, we're taking Defias Bandits because they're the best unit here. Okay, you've unlocked guilds. Um, right, we're gonna make we're gonna make a guild name. It's gonna be called Excoundrel F to Play Grind. Um, and it's gonna be my guild for my free to play. Alt. Well, actually, I want it to be in, I want it to be um, Dad's Army free to play. Uh, we're going to make it. There we go. <laughs> yep. Dad. Oh, I can't include the um, thing. There we go. Dad's army free to play. There we go. This will create my guild. It does only. Oh, letters. We can't even. We... Free to. Free to play. Create. <laughs> Done. Dad's army free to play. Let's go. So if you want to join Dad's army free to play, it's open. Feel free. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at our deck. Feeling confident, feeling happy. We're going to continue. Gulia. Right, Gulia. Probably one of the first hard missions of the game. I'm going to drop Rend down this side. I'm going to drop this guy a little bit further back. We're going to lose that chest, but that's okay. So I want to drop my safe pilot on the back of these guys' heads. And hopefully... Oh, no, he's shot the wrong way. He's shot the wrong way, guys. Rend is just... He's gone to a different universe. Okay, that's really annoying. Rend has decided to go on a trek to a different universe. We need to get the harpies to follow up here. Hopefully, with, with um, Chain Lightning, we can take this guy out. Yeah, we, we trade one for one. Overall, even gold trade because uh, Ogre Mage costs a decent amount. Right, okay. Let's drop a safe pilot on the back of this guy's head. You kind of want to get her done in one go. If you, can get her if you can get her down in one push without her actually eating anything. No, she's eating. She's eating. It was going so well, guys, and then it went really badly. Right, we'll try again. How much? Depends how much life she gains here, but we should be okay. She's not gaining like all of the life, you know. Again, my flying units decide to change their continent. That should be much better to take out the um, the necromancer. They didn't take out the necromancer. Right, fine. Again, my Drake is changing continent once more. Drop another Drake down this side. I might let my tower do a bit of the tanking here. Yeah, I dropped the Harpies. Rend needs some support pretty quickly. Let him start tanking the tower. Okay. Okay, we might actually do this. We're going to maybe do this. Maybe do this with the, with the light chain lightning. Do it. One more. One more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Gulia, done. Boom. It's a tough boss. But you saw you kind of have to build a big attack. You have to keep Gulia engaged. That's the most important thing with Gulia. You push and you keep her engaged. This is why actually having an unbound tank is really useful um, in addition. Okay, claim reward. What are we going to get? We're going to get Harpies. We're going to go Drake to level it up to four, which is nice. Uh, safe Pilot every day of the week. Safe Pilot's really, really good. Going to get some gold from Gulia. Let's have a look. Do we get anything new for free? No. You can do some PvP in a minute if you want, guys. I'm going to try and get through, try and get through all of this area. So I can show you the tactics of all these bosses to make sure if you're struggling, you can come and have a look. Once I can afford either an Earth Elemental or a Quill Ball, I'm going to buy it. Probably the Quill Ball first because it's more useful in general. 
All right, so this is this is the guy who just spawns a load of skeletons, which is fine. Always, always the like a, a really good tactic in general is um, if you're ever wondering like the best way to approach something, I'm just gonna I don't want those skeleton mages to kill my okay, they're not actually good enough, so I'm gonna drop a safe pallet behind as well. Skeleton mages will just blow up my air units, but yeah. A good rule of thumb in general for um anything relating to PvE is just take towers. If you can just take towers, you're fine. Skeleton mages proving a bit of a problem, but not too much of an issue. Send the ghoul this way to clear that out. Safe pilot is doing a good job of blowing those guys up. Safe pilot is a great unit, by the way. So drop another rend this side. Has dropped an abomination. Abomination is a good unit, very difficult to deal with, but if you have harpies, they make very quick work of it. Drop my little cobalt miner now. In general, cobalt miners. Um, if you drop cobalt miner on a one when there is one gold, you are, you are only going even with what it costs to put your miner down. If you drop it when there is two gold, you're at least going to get a plus one gold outcome. Um, okay, so there is... I'm going to drop this here. I want to drop the harpies on top of the um, this guy. Harpies will very quickly obliterate a... And he can't deal, do anything when he's in the air. So, again, I cycle another Cobalt Miner here. If I cycle the Miner this way, it'll pick up both of these. Which is very good. Harpies making quick work of the boss, and that's why I love Harpies. And there we go. Easy. Dark Spear Troll is one of the weaker units in the deck right now. What I'll tell you guys is most, most PvE can be solved with unbound tank like Quillbor or Earth Elemental and Harpies. That can that can beat most PvE in the game. Right, so we got um Arc Light Booster. So this is the this is the, the best thing you will ever buy. Um it gets you 20% permanent XP, 50% extra permanent gold, and you get a load of gold at the start. 1175. It is the best thing you will ever buy. Hands down, the best thing. If you ever want to spend any money in the game, this is the number one thing that you can buy. If you want to spend nothing else in the game after that, it is the number one thing you can buy. But I'm not going to do it just yet because it's up to you guys whether you think I should purchase the Arclight Booster or not. It will make this series much quicker. Um, but obviously it won't be true free to play. So it's up to you. I'd love to see what you guys think. So Morbid Fell. This uh, you need to you need to guide this priest to the to the end to make this work. Now, uh, you don't need to do it on the first tr first run, but you can with a simple safe pilot like this. If you just drop the safe pilot like this on the necromancer's head. Oh no, he's actually dropped more than he usually does here. <laughs> Maybe the harpies can save the day. She just needs to get to the boss and cast, which she's not going to be able to do. So never mind. Harpies will kill off this uh, wolf, though, which is good because now I can drop my Cobalt Miner to go and get the only gold mine that we have access to. Unfortunately, all of my units are going to deal absolutely zero damage. There is no point in sending any more units to Morbent Fell at the moment because he is... Um... I might send both of these. Should... He didn't cast. He didn't cast. Right, now... Now is the time where we actually care about guiding the, the uh, priestess to the end. Do this. We need her to get to the end. Oh, he blizzarded me. Can she make it to the end? Nope, she can't. We've got to do it on the next run, so... We are not going to overcommit anything because we have to wait until the next time around to actually... You can deal damage to him, but it's just significantly less damage. You do need to send something to deal with uh, Meat Wagon. It's the only unit in the game that can outrange towers. So you do need to send something to deal with Meat Wagon. I shall have to wait for the next spawn of this... Uh, of the Priestess. I will drop a Cobalt Miner for the time being. I will preemptively... She spawns now, so yeah, I'm going to preemptively drop her rend just to try and get ahead of her. Not bothered about the uh, the wolf on this side. What I can do is I know that it will charge into the tower first, so I'll just drop this guy here. Again, we are going to do a safe pilot to try and deal with the necromancer. 
should be good enough. There we go. I'm going to drop Harpies to kill the Abomination. And she will now deactivate the shield on Morbid Fell. So there we go. And I'm going to send these guys directly upwards, kill the Meat Wagon. This should now be enough to deal with Morbid Fell and kill him. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty easy once you get the Priestess to the end. So number one tip, by the way, um, is just unlock stuff as soon as you can. Obviously try and unlock the good units first if you have access to them. But don't, <laughs> don't worry about focusing on any one particular unit. Just unlock units. It gets your collection level up, which is the most important. So we've got a leader choice now. Claim reward. Maiev, Blood Mage Thanos, and Cairn, a Blood Hoof. Cairn is not great. He's okay. Blood Mage Thanos is okay. But uh, Maiev is... Because you, you like to unlock... Um, unbound units my is quite good especially for getting some early experience in pv uh in pvp so we're gonna go with maya but none of those leader choices were particularly good we've got some extra gold for going up in collection level all right here is where um here is where things start to get interesting now i wouldn't usually recommend that you do this okay I wouldn't usually recommend that you do this what i'm gonna do is I, I would quite like to buy Quillbore, but I don't want to lose out Earth Elemental because Earth Elemental is also really good. So I'm moving Quillbore up for five gold. And now I'm going to be able to buy Earth Elemental later on as well. Okay. Don't, by the way, might seem tempting. Don't buy it. Complete waste of money, especially at this stage of the game. So what do I want to do now? I would like to drop Quillbore in for something. I'm going to drop it in for, I think, Chain Lightning. <laughs> And this to me now looks like a nice little a nice little Ren deck. So that's what I'm going to do. I actually could even replace... Uh, do you know what? I'm even going to do it. I'm going to replace Dark Spear Troll with my... Um, with Griffin Rider. Because I have another ground unit now. Now Dark Spear Troll is really good. But um, I like Griffin Rider. Especially because it's a slightly higher level. So that is good. That's now my deck. I'm going to do Blind Mary. Blind Mary possesses units. So, you uh, you know, you kind of want to give her a cheap unit to possess. You do not want her to possess your own black hand. You will lose a lot of gold value out of that. And you'll see the um, the possession range is this blue area. So, any anytime you get past this blue area, that's where things start to get a bit, a bit dicey. So, we're going to drop that there. Also going to drop this here. If I can get a... Um, if I can get a harpy into the possession area, and she'll only she'll only possess one harpy. So squad units very good in this circumstance, and that is uh, yeah. So she's possessed, or she tried to possess one harpy there. Uh, I would like to her not to possess my uh, red black hand. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think she's going to. I want to get those this gold going now. Try and get a quill ball behind her. So she, that's called unbound tanking. It just takes the aggro away from my Ren black hand for the time being. I'm not going to overcommit to this because I don't think I'm going to... Um... Oh, she, um, she's cheeky. Yeah, I'm not going to overcommit to this because I don't think right now I'm going to be able to, uh, to win outright. She's overtaken my ghoul, which is fine. When you have height advantage, by the way... Uh, your air units are safe if you have high height advantage. So I'm going to try and drop the, try and drop this here. Try and do a quillbore tank. So this is not for my uh, Griffin Rider, but this will now take aggro away from my Drake, and it makes bosses significantly easier. As you can see, my Drake should now be able to kill her. So there we go, very easy. Once you've got an unbound tank unit, it becomes significantly easier to take bosses down. And that was a really, really, really simple kill on uh, Blind Mary. <laughs> Okay, so Rend... Oh, 30 experience. Yeah, I'm going to definitely give that to my leader to get Rend up to level 5. 15 for Troll, but I'm not using him, so I'll probably give it over to my Ghoul for the time being. And then Harpies absolutely take more of my gold. Harpies take more of my experience. There we go. Blind Mary. Nice. <laughs> You've unlocked quests. So this is... um. I'm playing Ghoul, so... Quests are essentially daily daily challenges that you can do to grind experience 
You can do up to 20 per day, which as a free-to-play player, if you have the time, I would thoroughly recommend that you do. Just grants you experience for your units. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to play 20 quests per day on this account, if I'm honest with you. So play Ghoul directly there. So it's usually a level that you've already completed, so this is going to be Old Murkai, as you can see. Drop. I want to drop my harpies because um, I don't want to lose this chest. And I'm going to drop as soon as this guy dead. I'm going to drop Quillwell behind. And that should now take the towers because harpies are absolutely broken. <laughs> drop another thing over here. Unfortunately, the harpies will get killed by old Murkai here because uh, I can't haven't got another unbound tank available to me. But uh, oh wow, he's he's already got another. Interesting. So I'll drop this this side, and then I'm going to unbound tank behind old Murkai. He should turn around. There we go. He does turn around. And this should actually just be, like, the the easiest kill ever. This guy is also significantly... Quests generally tend to be a lot lower level than than, than your actual um, army, so they're actually quite easy to complete. I actually give my phone to my four-year-old son, and he, he beats these, and he has no idea how to play the game. So um, that shows you how easy quests are in general. Okay, it's going to level my ghoul up. So now I've got a three times quest, which is very valuable. So I'm going to do it again. I won't keep doing quests, but if you get a three times quest offered to you, you definitely should take that take that chance. Um, by the way, the way that quests work, I, there's 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 a bit more to it, but I'll I'll give you the, TL, the sort of the basic TLDR. Two unit choices will always be from your deck that you've currently got active. One unit choice will be a random random unit from your collection. There's a bit more to it than that, but that's the general rule of thumb. Okay, so we're going to drop Griffin Rider here. He's got Flame Waker. Both of these, none of these units can actually attack air units. Also, he's level one, which is hilarious. Okay. We're just going to go for the old harpy showdown here in a moment. We are going to drop this here, and we're going to drop rend here as well. These barrels will not affect flying units. Oh, he's got execute. Interesting. But he's so far low level below me that I should just be able to kill him. The harpies are tanking the boss, which is when you know you've got a massive level advantage versus PvE. Do you know what I find so hilarious? I'm getting five combat experience for Harpies. Do you know how much I get on my account, my main account, where everything's like level 20-something? I get 12. That's how ridiculous the combat experience scales. It doesn't scale very well at all. <laughs> Quest. Griffin Rider. Goes back to a green. Claim reward. Um, I think Dark Spear Troll's better than Bat Rider, so it's all the way up to level five now. Wow. Uh, Harpies again, because Harpies are just OP. And safe pilot because safe pilot is also AP. So I'm I'm giving I'm giving experience to the units that are really good. Right now we're going to do Abercrombie. Oh, I actually think I have enough to buy Earth Elemental now. I do. So we're going to buy Earth Elemental. So Earth Elemental is is armored. This guy's resistant. I could replace School with Earth with Earth Elemental, which actually, to be honest with you, I might do. Because that means that I have an unbound resistant tank and an unbound armored tank, which is very, very good for this kind of deck. So this is now the deck that I'm going to run. So it's telling me that I've got something to... It keeps shining at me. I... Is it trying to shine? I... I... They changed it from having a, no a notification on the shop. Right, Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Play. <laughs> So Abercrombie just spawns a giant abomination that can attack air minions, which is the only difference. So he spawns a giant abomination that can attack air minions. Okay, so immediately he drops a gargoyle. Luckily, gargoyles can't attack anything other than a tower. We're also going to see the, the power of a uh, earth elemental here in just a minute. So ready, and we drop earth elemental right behind this tower. And it's armored and it takes way less damage. So there's there's abomination. 
we should be able to hopefully clean up all of these units before yeah, he just ate my earth elemental. So I want to I want to drop Quillbore again. Unbound tanking. Very, very successful tactic. It's kind of worked out okay here. Uh, we want to drop these guys. Drop these guys. Probably drop a, a, an earth elemental behind it. <laughs> Made short work of stitches here. And they're now going to travel down this way. My uh, rend is only just alive. So I'm going to use that opportunity to drop my um drop my drake this is technically considered a hard mission by the way so we're gonna we're gonna drop a quill ball behind again just to get the harpies time to go on the boss oh he zapped me uh, i think this should be enough now to finish him there we go easy super easy you show that that combo of just unbound tank plus harpies can beat pretty much any boss in the game um at least for the majority of your your run so we've now completed this this area that's pretty good blizzard living bomb execute you take blizzard every day of the week blizzard is the best spell in the game so we take blizzard in that scenario another unit that i really want stonehoof torum so we're going to keep that in our back pocket jindo the hexer so here's where things start to get a little difficult it's very likely that the um you're going to get the first place that you're going to start to struggle is probably the barons so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get as far as i can with this deck in its current form we might do a bit of pvp at the end but i'll, sh I'll show you the benefit of pvp don't worry about playing pvp at the start guys you only play versus bots so i'm going to show you a little bit of um a pve deck that you can use with rend rend is not a bad pvp uh, hero to have but Maev is also very good so we'll show you both of them uh i'm actually just going to drop him to take out that chest uh so do this drop this guy here he's tanking one of them that's nice okay he's now that tower is now engaged i need to stop him from attacking stop him from attacking my um harpies and he's resistant, so that should be good enough to take him down. That's really nice. That's done well. My harpies will now die, but that's perfectly okay. The Earth Elemental will again continue to chug along. Earth Elemental has done its job. We've now taken... No, go the other way, Rend. Okay, we've sent two Rends that way, whatever. We'll drop a Griffin Rider here, but then we will drop an Earth Elemental. <laughs> That should be enough to take out that tower. My little kobold that could has managed to take out two chests, which is absolutely insane. I'm going to drop a safe pilot on top of all of these guys' heads because why not? Oh, kill them all. Okay, nice. That now keeps it in a good spot. The Jindo, uh, I can't remember what this guy's... I can't even remember what these, the actual... Sp oh, yeah, he, he turns some of your dudes into chickens. Fair enough. We've already done quite a bit of damage here, though. Going to wait for the... Um, going to wait for him to yeah do that so we will then harpies on top of him and we are going to unbound tank and we will do double unbound tank so he just can't change aggro and that should be enough to take him out so easy see how easy these levels are when you've got the right units in your deck it just they just fly by they just fly by Okay, King Muckler, we get Arc Light Energy, which is um, something that you need to upgrade upgrade um, units from something to rare. <laughs> right, so Muckler is an interesting tactic, um, just primarily because he drops like stuff on the floor that levels up your units. Or levels up his units, depending on whoever touches it first. So that should be my Baron getting a level up here. <laughs> Gonna do this. You guys know what's coming. It's unbound tank time. Oh, he's zapping. He's zapping. <laughs> Gonna drop this here to try and deal with these guys. 
Oh, he's dead. Never mind. There you go. Unbound tank has solved another PVE. <laughs> Earth Elemental plus Harpies or Cruel World plus Harpies has solved another PVE experience. Oh, it's going to get me three stars, I assume, for the um, the hero that I complete it with. So, right, King Bangalash, let's go. They all have all these, all of these um, levels have kind of a unique mechanic, which can mostly be bypassed by Unbound plus Harpies. If you don't have Harpies, by the way, so the, the unique mechanic here is he spawns Murloc Tight Hunters, which actually are a bit of a pain in the ass for Harpies, but we do have Safe Pilot, which can deal with them. So we're going to drop... Red. I, I remember this level giving me a lot of trouble when I first started, by the way. This is one of the first levels that actually gave me a decent amount of trouble. So I want to make use of the rend reduction in um, costs. Everything that is a healing, uh, is a flying unit, we're going to try and take use, make use of. So I would like to drop that, and that might deal enough damage to blow up that. Yeah, it does. So that blows up the... Um, and what we're going to do, as again, is right behind him, we drop the Earth Elemental, because that is how you play this game. And then we are also going to drop a Quill Bore, because that is also how you play this game. And once again, Unbound has solved another PvE mystery. It's, it's, it's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> it's just kind of how it goes. We don't actually need any more units for this deck, by the way. It's kind of um, where we're at. So, right. Ren Blackhand has now got three. And it, I think it will tell you how to upgrade. So we upgrade. We go like this. One bonus level. Okay. Yep. Done. Does it just... Does it give you a free talent? I can't remember if it gives you a free talent. Jinrock the Breaker. Here we go. This guy's um. This guy spawns big old trolls. Again, harpies are really good for this as well. Um. So what we're gonna do? Like these guys actually just they. They actually just straight up ignore tanks anyway, so there's no point trying to unbound tank these. Doesn't really do anything. So that's good. Flying units are very good. Harpies are very good. So we're going to unbound tank these because we don't want our harpies dying to the Murloc Tide Hunters. And we're also going to do this because we don't want to... Oh, okay. We did actually lose the harpies here. We don't want to completely get blown up. We did kind of get completely get blown up. Um, okay, so we're actually losing this gold in the middle, which is a bit of a big deal. So we're going to try and send something down there. No, you can't have all of the gold. Stop it. Don't think we're going to... Yeah, okay, fine. We just drop harpies. We're going to drop a um, safe pilot on Dark Spear Troll's head. Right, we need to we need to we need to unbound tank this again. No, that's a really really nice position for safe pilot. But we do need to get something down on this breaker over here. Might we might have done enough to win this? We might have done enough to win this. Unbound tanking solves the day again. Yeah, it does. Easy. There we go. Didn't get the gold that we wanted, but Unbound Tanking once again saves the day. So we get some more gold. I think this means that we get. A I think this means that we get a talent. Hogger's Horde unlocked. Again, see that I mean that is 
very very good value for 1500 gold but you don't want the you don't really say so 1500 gold for context would be somewhere like double double the price of that but you don't care about xp times really again the only thing you want to buy is this okay so baron revel gas okay so this guy is a little bit tricky um the biggest tip that i can give you about baron rebel gas is you want to take out the tauren guy with the the cannon first and foremost so take out the tauren guy with the cannon he should be your primary aim right let's try this again should be enough to trade I'm not that bothered about anything else there let's do this let's do this let's get let's get this guy down as quickly as possible this guy will prove a massive issue for you if you don't get him down quickly he can't actually attack anything in the air so you don't really need to unbound tank this guy you can just kind of do it this way so Sylvana, this Huntress is like one of the most annoying units in the game. And you'll find that quite frequently. Try and get someone behind Baron Revelgas here. In fact, I might try and get multiple people behind Baron Revelgas. Because if I can keep him distracted from Harpies and from Drake, we might actually just end up winning the game right here. There you go. There we go. Boom. Yes, we leveled up our Drake, which is quite nice. I can hear my, my children being annoying, so I'm going to go help my wife get them to um, sleep. Okay, so we've done Baron Rebel, guys. We're going to get one of the talents. Now, this is the most important part. If you if you don't listen to anything in the video, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this bit right at the start of the video. The first talent choice that you're going to get offered. Do some research. A link in the description below will show you a talent resource sheet that I have for every unit in the game. If you're playing Rend like me, you have two very viable choices. Flaming Soul and Scale and Steel. Okay? Both of them are very viable choices. Scale and Steel is more consistent. Flaming Soul is more fun. <laughs> That's basically how it is. Legionnaire is absolutely garbage and I would not recommend it. Scale and Steel, very, very good. It makes you resistant in the air, so you take 50% less elemental damage. Um, so it will show you here and it will gain you a bonus level. And you'll get armored when you dismount. Now, I don't actually need that because I have a lot of... I have my armored elemental tank. I'm going to do what I did previously. I'm going to take Flaming Soul because I just love Flaming Soul. It's a very, very fun talent. So there we are. That is it. We now have unlocked the Barons. This is where you'll probably start to actually struggle because you're going to start to feel the level disadvantage that you've got. And it's often where it's like, oh, buy the Arc Light Booster. We're going to push through as much of this as we can. Um, and with the deck that we're currently using. So this, again, this is the deck that we're currently using right now. Um, there is a case that I could maybe... I, I don't really want to swap out for Darkspear Troll, just mostly because um, uh, this is already quite an expensive deck. Th there is a case that I could put Defias Bandits in because they're very good, but we're just going to keep going for the time being and see if we can get through um, this. Now, Gazlo is an interesting one. He's got Rocket Towers, which makes it a little bit more difficult, so you just have to be a bit careful about your placement of your Unbound Tanks. Okay, so here we go. We're going to drop Rend far back here. I want, I don't want to lose this, so I'm going to put my quill board down, but you can see already how much of a pain in the ass this is. I am going to drop this here. Okay, we have actually ended up losing. Gosh, they are, they are going to town. Unfortunately, I didn't get Harpies out very early here. Now I've got Harpies. Right, they, they, the tower's going for Rend. So what we're going to do... Oh, no, all of my Harpies just got blown up by Safe Pilot. However, I think we managed to take this down. Rend has uh, done a good job here. So there we go, Rend. Good job, Rend. Need to reset slightly. It takes a while for this tower to build, which is very annoying. But we just want to reset ever so slightly. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the ass. No. Please don't. This is where Flaming Soul is actually going to come in quite useful. So one of the few issues with this deck is that you don't have many units that can take towers. Very, um, take. So I'm going to drop these guys behind so they don't get safe piloted. 
And again, what we're going to do is going to put a, this guy behind, and hopefully that means that my harpies will be able to clear this tower very quickly, which they can. Okay. Going all right so far. We're doing okay. There is absolutely nothing for you to mine there, my man. Well, there's not much for you to mine anyway. So we're going to drop another rend here. This time round, we're going to drop quill ball on the other side, just so that the tanking is, is more effective. And once you... The big challenge with this map is once you take all these... Like, it becomes very difficult for you to lose once you take all of these towers. The, the, the biggest challenge on this map is actually just straight up taking the towers. I just want to put my... Um, there. We should now be very, very easily able to... Um, Take this guy out. Kill these things. Yeah, we're fine. There we go, guys. We did it. There we go. Okay, so this guy, the uh, the trick here is this guy spawns um, quill bores everywhere. <laughs> quill bores are resistant, so not amazing for our deck. So we're gonna do this. Loads of um, no 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 we don't want we want to go this way we want to go this way. <laughs> Okay, so the harpies will make short work of these guys when they spawn, which is great. We want to wait for um, we want to wait for these guys to get over the 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 bridge. The reason we want to take this out, oh gosh, a little bit late on that because I thought it was still going for my um Drake, but it's fine. We've got the Earth Elemental down, so that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna spawn another uh, rend. Nice. Frostwolf Shaman's going to die here. You can see how long it's taken my... Um, put another... Uh, put another Quill Ball behind. Harpies should make short work of this again. It's nice. We've now got both the towers. But, uh, this won't deal with them quickly, but it'll be enough to stop them from taking the base. So we're going to put that down. Okay, so now we are at the stage of the game where we want to drop a Earth Elemental behind her. We can drop another Harpies if we like. Should be enough to... I think we should have really won there. I mean, we've won. We've won. We don't even need to drop Safe Pilot. And once again, another PvE boss can be solved with the ever-present Unbound Tank strategy. I think for this video, I'm going to try and get to the end of the Barons and then do a bit of PvP with you guys. And that will hopefully be... Um, Hopefully, be enough to kind of get you on the um, on the road. It's going to be a long video, though. Actually, do you know what? It's already over an hour. We won't do PvP this time. We might do P PvP in the next video. Um. Okay, so yeah, one of the annoying things is you can't really challenge these guys super easily. Ah, uh, yeah, they didn't go down very well. Not enough to blow them up in one shot. In fact, actually, just straight up. Do you know what? We straight up missed with the safe pilot at the start there. You don't really want to miss with the safe pilot. So if you just restart, you usually get, I think you usually get offered the same units at the start. So we don't really want to miss with the safe pilot because uh, that's kind of the whole point here. So we actually don't get off with the same units at the start. So we're going to drop. Nice. Okay, so Harpy should do a pretty clean job of dealing with those guys.
Please use our unbound minis to get the um to get the meeting stones. Should be fine. Should be fine. There we go. That is should be enough to get like a kind of a big safe pilot off. Oh no, he got all of them. That was terrible from me. All right, this has gone horrendously wrong. That's enough for the time being. He's going to get that gold, which is kind of annoying. We need to do a better job of... Uh, that's why Huntress is the most annoying unit in the world. And that is why, on this occasion, I'm going to turn Huntress around, or try to, so that my Harpies can kill her before anything else. Now I should actually get this gold, which is great. Thank you. That one went a lot better. Oh, loads of gold to get here, going that way. Doing a bit of damage. We're not. We're not losing. Oh uh, well. Yeah. Hopefully not losing. Taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, I want to drop um, this guy here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to turn this around, but that's fine. It's only Huntress. Send it that way. going to get the gold here which is pretty good i think we need to drop another set of harpies to deal with these guys drop a quill ball drop that okay this is okay probably going to drop a earth elemental here Oh, gosh, every time. Every time I drop a... Okay, this is still fine. We're doing chip damage to this guy, which is the most important thing, you know. Turn these guys around. I don't want them attacking my... I don't really want them attacking. So I'm going to drop this immediately on these. Safe pilot is very good on this level because you just get all the gold. We're going to go into overtime here, but I would expect that because we are starting to fall behind in levels compared to some of our previous games. We need to get to that gold, really. That's a lot of gold there. It's left on the table. Okay. So we actually should now be good enough to do this. We're probably going to be absolutely fine. Just start dropping stuff on its head unbounding it to death and i think we're fine we're good yeah we're definitely going to kill this thing so there you go a little bit harder i messed up a little bit but um perfectly fine once we get some of our units over to level five you'll find that it gets a little easier Right, what did we unlock? Okay, here we go. Another choice. Sneed, Old Merkai, Baron. Absolutely Baron. Every day of the week. Excuse me. Right, we've unlocked Arc Like Surges. It gives me it gives you more missions. Blah 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 blah. I'll talk about it in a minute. Baron Rivendare is a nice leader to get it's one of the best leaders you can have and here we go arc light surges have now been opened what else can i buy here stonehoof tauren is a great unit so we're going to buy it Tyrion, we've been offered Tyrion. we buy Tyrion every day of the week that is the best alliance leader that you can get so really really good and then gargoyle so this is also fantastic so we want to try and unlock that and you notice that i'm just unlocking units as quickly as i can for some reason, my game is just re, re um. Oh, 
Right, so we have Arc Light Surge, which will get you a load of um which will get you a load. I'm gonna have a look if there's any units I can do. So I'm gonna play the Quill Ball because I wanna get um uh I'm gonna uh, get the Quill Ball because I want to uh level him up because I think having a level five Quill Ball is gonna be very useful. So I just wanna do the quest to get Quill Ball. If you start to hit a wall on the free to play grind, just start doing your quests. It will start to get your units up in level. And then it'll help you in your free to play grind. Right, so it's this Morbius guy again. Fine. He's level three, which should be kind of ridiculous for us. Should be very easy. Um, they tend to have ver they tend to have very different um, units on this. Okay, I'm just going to drop my harpies. Yeah, they tend to they tend to have very different tactics and very different units on this version when you're playing a quest. So it might not seem as familiar as it did when you were playing it for the for the first time. <laughs> Flame Waker, I just want to finish this quickly, so I'm going to drop the drop the old Unbound Harpies combo. And yeah, the game's basically over now, so there you go. Boom. Unbound Harpies. Solves every issue. Drake, got some experience there. Why is, is are the servers struggling at the moment? Okay, claim Quillbot now pushes him to level five. Which is nice. Let's get these last two levels in the Barons done. And then tomorrow we will record some more free to play grind. We'll do the Arc Light Surges. We'll do some PvP. We'll see as far how far we can get on the free to play side of things. I am noticing that the uh, the servers seem to be taking a bit of a taking a bit of a hit right now. Okay, so yeah, this level's um this level's interesting. Essentially, once you get to a certain point, they will just start to like run at you. I need to get I need to get my um Earth Elemental to level five if I can. That's the next thing that I need to level up. Yeah, once you hit a certain point, they will just start to run at you. I need to get Quillbore out. So yeah, Quillbore on the next tower would be really nice. There we go. One harpy goes down, but the quill bore should be enough to. Earth element. So shaman is really shaman is so bad, guys. <laughs> like at dealing damage, really good for healing, just really bad at dealing damage. Right. So I want to I want to be ready to safe pilot something here. You also want to just have like loads of AOE available, as I've got right now, because all of these things are going to run at you. So my biggest threat is going to be. Probably on this side. So I'm just going to like safe pilot now. Safe pilot there like that. And this is where Ren's talent comes in really useful as well. Because um, Living Bomb is really strong. There we go. We basically blew up everything. That, this level is actually so much easier compared to some of the other ones. It's pretty simple. By the way, you don't need Rend. If you've picked another hero, as long as you've got that Harpies or, or, or Unbound combo, you can do it another way. This servers seem to be struggling. Okay, we've unlocked the next one. 
Gromash is uh, is an interesting one. Have I got a quest to get my Earth Elemental? Yeah, I have. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play the quest to get my Earth Elemental over to level five because that will definitely help me as we start to scale up a little bit here. We're gonna want to do the Arc Light Surges because they're uh, we'll probably do them tomorrow. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna finish the Barons tonight for this video and then we'll do some more tomorrow because otherwise I'll be here playing forever. This is my second playthrough because I've already got a quite high level account. This is like one of the first levels in the game, right? So this should be easy. Earth Elemental here, behind. I think one of the... I think, yeah, one of the features, by the way, that um, I think is really interesting about quests is that the enemy deck will always have the unit that you're trying to get um, experience for in the deck, which I think is really interesting. Bonk! Send these guys down this way. Might not even need to... Um, Scale and steel. Drop this. So Rend is just providing me massive value with my flying units while he stays alive. He is level seven compared to this guy's level three. So yeah, we're basically basically one now. There we go. This will get my um, Earth Elemental to level five, which will be very helpful for the next few missions. And we'll continue that tomorrow once I've done the uh, once I've done the final boss. Right, here we go. Earth Elemental to level 5. It's going to make Gromash significantly easier. Gromash uh, bloodlusts his units, so they become quicker and they attack quicker. So... Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop... Earth Elemental behind. This tower is the really important tower to take. I'm going to take two gold to get that uh, there. We now need to deal with the um, these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the wait for him to start attacking. Drop the harpies so that he, they won't attack the harpies, and the harpies will clean up these guys pretty easily. I think once Gromash takes damage, that's when we start to run into uh, people getting bloodlusted. So we have taken a bit of damage on our base, but we have established a pretty solid area of um, control. Okay, so that's a problem. Yeah, so we're gonna drop we're gonna drop Earth Elemental behind. Okay, like that. We don't want to lose any more HP on our base if we can help it. There we go. That's Flaming Soul. Drop another Unbound behind, but I think we're gonna win now. So we are all good. Boom. Very, very simple win there for us. It's taking a while to get through the um to get through these at the moment. Right. Oh, okay, here you go. Troop choice. Goblin Sapper, Abomination, and Murloc Tide Hunters. Personally, out of all of these, Abomination is, is best for PvE. So I'm gonna take Abomination because it's a it's a good unit for PvE. It would be good for uh, an undead deck. Back. Have I unlocked the I haven't unlocked the leader upgrade slots yet. Okay, so that is now all done. We've done all of that. Any quests that are worth doing at this point in time? Nothing that's going to get me anything crazy. Um, we will... Do you know what, guys? Let's maybe go up to Rain Wolf Runner. See if we can get up to Rain Wolf Runner. Might be able to clear it. We'll see. Arc Light Surge is going to be important because it's going to get us quite a lot of gold, but... 
We'll do Rain Wolf Runner tomorrow. This will do for the time. This will do for the time being. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're going to do PvP Rain Wolf Runner. See how far we can get tomorrow on the next PVE push. Hopefully, this has been a good a good video for you guys to follow. Help you with some tactics throughout the normal campaign. See you soon.